Final Fantasy has teamed up with Embody, which is a studio and audio based company that delivers uh, pretty much virtualized surround sound. They've teamed up, as I say, with Final Fantasy and they've created a specific Final Fantasy plugin uh, setting within the game that you can use to try and enhance your immersive sound experience in the game. I found the setting by pure accident in the game and I clicked it and it came up with some websites. So I thought I'd have a look at in into it and see what it was about. I did do this on stream and I kind of tested it out and went through a few things. So I will just play a highlight from that stream in a moment. Uh, but as I say, just to show you kind of roughly what it is and just to quickly go over it again, um, you download, the, there is a trial or it's 15 pounds if you're in the UK, you can just buy it's a one-time license. You take a photograph of your ear and it's meant to create some virtualized almost spatial 360 sound judging by the personalized shape of your ear. Being completely honest, to me it comes across as very marketing gimmicky. Uh, I would say to people to try it for yourselves. I do use, in throughout this test, I, I do use a pair of Behringer DT uh, A80 Pros, 250 ohm version. Um, I've done sound things for a very very long time and um, I studied sound sound design electronic production things like that um, by no means I'm some high-end engineer or anything but I can tell you if something sounds good or if something sounds bad so anyway I'll, I'll just play the highlight from the stream and hopefully you can capture it in the sound it's from the video uh, just to kind of listen to it for yourselves but I would say the best thing to do would be to actually just try it yourselves anyway here's the clip what gives this free trial and pre-purchase now available? The sound team and Embody have collaborated to create a unique new add-on for the Windows version of Final Fantasy that offers headphone users the ability to hear in-game sounds played in a custom profile based on the user's ear, user's ear or a personalized spatial audio experience. Experience Final Fantasy's audio in a full 360 degrees around you for an even more immersive experience. 14 day free trial is available so you'd be sure to give it a try if you are playing on Windows. I downloaded the trial and I gotta say the ping that accompanies the lobby server uh, connection has encountered an error. Error is right before the game crashes, this never sounded better. I want to try it for sure, good thing, well it's a one time purchase. Great, thank you for this, but when in God's name are you guys uh, squaring it's going to give us anti-aliasing in the game? Well there is anti-aliasing, it's just shit. Um, if you already own Hive, do you need to pay for the Fine Fine 14 version? So I, I actually have um, Dolby Atmos and it, it does work, but stereo is, is always going to be stereo. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, how much is the actual thing? 15 pounds. Not crazy if it's if it's a one-time thing. Open your smartphone camera and point it at the QR code. Click on the pop-up and follow the instructions. Allow... Try again. Ow. I can't ask for permission. There we go. Take a picture of the right ear. I don't know. Correct? Oh, this is really hard to do. Submitting your ear image. Success. We've created your personal a personalized audio profile based on your ear. Okay, please close and reopen the system configuration before you enable. So we close it. Bye. Now these are good quality headphones. I don't know if you can hear that. Everything sounds super tinny. That's bad. Let's go somewhere a bit more populated.
Left ear. It sounds better without. That doesn't sound much different. Right, so they're behind me. Sounds like a bad EQ. The position is actually more accurate, switching it off. They're to the left of me, it's in my left ear. Now it sounds like there's no low end. doesn't sound like it's moving. Switch it off. Sounds like it's actually moving with me a bit more. Okay, so that's where it is, it's vertical. Quieter there as I look out this way. I look down, it gets louder. not sure about it, being completely honest. I don't think I like it. So, off. Oh. Drums just, they do sound to the left of me, but not by a lot. And they're obviously the half is to the right. Switch it off. The drums go very far to the left. The half is very far to the right which is pr true. Turn it back on. And it's moving with the camera, not with where my character faces, which is worth knowing. See, why would it get louder if I bring the camera up? But if I zoom out, it doesn't change the loudness. It just does it on 360 turning. Okay, let's turn this off then. Let's compare.
Wow, Dolby Atmos is, is way better. It's very, so off, it's very hard left and right. Yeah, Dolby Atmos sounds way better. Way better. It's actually not even the same. Loads better. And, and the Dolby Atmos actually sounds like an upgrade versus just flat basic stereo. Let's check back over here. So, so the, the actual virtualized sound from the built-in one was sounded very tinny. Like it cut out almost all the lows and majority of the mids. There we go. And the great thing with Dolby Atmos as well is you've got different profiles. You can make custom profiles if you really want to. So if you know that your headphones are very bassy, say for example, you've got uh, Razor Krakens, which are generally pretty over the top on the bass, um, or Skull Candies, if people still use those, very, very high on the bass. You can drop it down a little bit and just balance it yourself a bit better. Um, you can't do that with the Final Fantasy built-in one. Um, you've got performance mode, which I have used for Overwatch, and I will admit it does upgrade the, the positional accuracy better. You've got just built-in equalizers, which I don't really use. I always tend to keep them off because my headphones are really damn good as they are. Uh, as you can see, you've got game mode, distinct sound placement that makes it easy to locate sounds uh, virtualized surround sound, clearer dialogue so you feel every detail of a story, rich detailed audio optimized for music to deliver every note and beat. So game is generally going to be, yeah, game, get, movie's going to be more surround, virtualized surround sound, like 7.1 sort of shit. Game is going to be try and do your 360 job. Um, actually, I do normally tend to use movie, if I remember rightly. I've only used it for like role RPG games, but yeah, no. Pass. Smash or pass? Pass. Don't bother with it. It's, it's not worth it. If you really, really want to try and get involved with that spatial audio bullshit, Dolby Access is still going to be your number one. And Dolby Access is about the same price. You can use it on... In fact, you know what? Let's compare it. Dolby Access price UK. $15.99 at full price, whereas the Final Fantasy one is £15 at full price. Uh, actually, that might be with the 20% off there is a deal for 20% off the Final Fantasy version until January 3rd, which is a discount is auto-applied. So it's probably a little bit more after uh, after that goes. Seriously, just save a little bit of money, get Dolby Access. You can use it with absolutely any game. You can use it with movies, music, as it says, voice, whatever. It's not a monthly subscription, nor is the Final Fantasy one either, obviously. But yeah, pass. Pass on the Final Fantasy one. It doesn't sound good.